In this video, I'm going to speak about the process of reaching 7 million followers. Before starting, let me just tell you about the new completely free creator course I made, which is going to boost your content game to the next level. Me and other great creators will be explaining what moves the algorithm and what exactly makes an attractive and a viral video. I'm going to put the link down below in the description, so make sure to check it out and don't forget to subscribe and like that video. So let's begin. I started creating content three and a half years ago. I just got into Juice to jump pro as a 21 years old, so I had an idea. It was to create skipping videos and to go viral with it, and in the future to create my own brand. So first thing first, I had a go, but also a problem even before I started. Nobody actually believed me. I mean, it really sounds like a complete nonsense. Make a living out of jumping rope. The more people I told my plans, the more negativity I was getting. At that point, I was really starting to think if this is really going to happen or it was just another imaginary story of my brain. There was one thing I needed to do and it was shut down every negative external voice and fucking believe I can do it. I mean, why wouldn't I? There are so many success stories on this world about people born with nothing but accomplishing anything they've envisioned. Why can't I do it? How are they different than I am? The only difference is that they believed and did not give up. Believe that you're good enough. Believe that you can do it. Everything is hard at the start. Do you think I became viral overnight? My videos were whack, no views. I've done thousands of videos already to come to this point. Here's the thing. If you know what to do, you don't need a lot of time. You just need to do the right stuff. But knowing what to do is the hardest part, especially when you are opening a complete new chapter. That's why I created the free course and I'll explain more through the video. Now, how do you know you're doing the right stuff? Listen carefully, first valuable lesson is about to start. Imagine, whenever you have a niche, either football or fashion, whatever it is, the algorithm will promote you the same stuff into your real section. Therefore, it's easy to find the bigger accounts in your niche. Find out which are the three biggest accounts in your niche, see what works for them and try the viral form they're using. 100% guarantee if you come as close as possible to their video, like almost replicate it, the best possible way is to put a bit of your style in it, of course. You're definitely going to have significantly more views. Check this one. And also, you know, a lot of people tell me that it's only because of the shirt, but as you see, that's not the particular reason. <laughs> That's the absolute first thing you need to do. I remember I was thinking that I'm going to figure it out by myself and create super good content and be the best. But after around 20 videos and getting zero interaction, this thing started to get frustrating and I wasn't even enjoying it. So I checked the most followed account at that time, Lauren Jumps, shout out to Lauren Jumps. And so what worked for her? She was doing tutorials and giving people tips on how to learn a skill or how to significantly improve your jump rope. So I started doing this. I developed a strategy of doing 30 different tutorials, uploading a video every second day. I was just starting, so every single day was a bit too much for that time. So I decided I'm gonna put it on every second day. So the first couple of videos didn't get the desired views I wanted. So I was kind of disappointed, but I continued doing. After four or five uploaded videos, I saw drastic improvement with every new video. With each video, I've gained 1000 views more. At that time, my maximum was like 3000, I think. Just to clear this up, I've uploaded five times more videos than the number you see on my Instagram profile. There are a lot of people who also do it, so don't get discouraged when you see somebody with millions of followers and only 20 posts. There is always a lot of hard work hidden behind the success. So I just archive my videos. All right, after I finished the 30 videos, my last video, had around 17,000 views. And that was a maximum at that point. Not much, but I guess I was doing something wrong. By the way, in our school community, you can post all of your videos in the group and you're going to get constructive feedback and tips on how to get better. Check this out. I didn't understand how Instagram was working at that point. I was uploading regular posts and not reels. The mass. Second valuable lesson. If you want to grow your followers, forget about regular posts, forget about carousels. You should upload short form content, AKA reels, TikToks, and YouTube shorts. I started uploading reels. On October 12, 2021, first viral video got 30,000 views with more than 1000 likes. That was a big milestone at that point. Once again, it was a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do a specific skill, which 
I got inspired through Lauren Jumps and the background music was perfectly in line with the steps and the footwork of the video. This is how you make the video more satisfying to watch. Until today, you can still see this strategy in my content. Every sequence or dance or even edit I do has the absolutely same rhythm like the song in the background. This strategy can be implemented on every video, not only jump rope. With the same exact strategy, I grew up to 21,000 followers on the 2nd of December, 2021. I thought I'm going to get a camera and level up and put even higher quality content. By the way, in the community, we have a starter kit on what filming materials you should use or how to film with your iPhone. Now, um, for the Android users, I know you're not gonna like it, but you can't film with an Android. I was not smart enough to continue implementing the strategy, so I went back to experimenting and I was not posting that often I felt like if I post too much, I'm gonna get boring to my followers, but that's wrong. The more you post, the more you learn. The more skillful you get, the better content you do. As simple as that. And there isn't a better time to post a lot than when having less followers. I mean, 20K, come on. Imagine you go super fast with a video and then suddenly you need to post every day to 200,000 followers and your content is not good enough. It's really like that. Now. Someone will ask, yeah, but where do I get so many ideas? Now listen, you probably haven't even posted a video on your Instagram page and yet you're already worrying about what's coming up next. Ideas come from doing, not sleeping. The more you do, the more you get. By the way, we also do challenges in the community where I send you ideas, trends from different niche and you have to redo it. It's very practical and brings up your editing skills. So, as I said, I wasn't posting that often, around three posts a week, and not so consistently. There was a six, seven months gap where I didn't grow at all. I stayed like 21,000 followers. And if I was growing, it was probably 100 followers a week. This was probably one of my hardest time. I wanted to give up so bad, but I already told everybody how I'm going to be the most famous jump rope account. How will these people look at me if I give up? I couldn't go back being a loser again. Also, I had invested money in my skipping brand. And I told myself, I'm not going to stop until I sell everything another point to the game it totally changes when you're invested in something if you're doing something for free and just trying out with nothing to lose the percentage you give up is very high so i doubled down on the tutorials and also syncing my sequences with the music and there it is i got my first video over a million views 3.9 to be exact on the 24th of june 2022 seven months after i hit 20k sales started to increase my account started to grow again but here's the thing Everybody says growth is hard. You go through highs and lows, but actually it's more like low, 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 and low, 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 and more lows and more and more. And suddenly it just blows out super high. And it only happens if you don't give up. Most of the people don't even reach the highs. I can guarantee you if there is something you want with all of your heart and work hard for it, you are going to have it. There isn't another way. Law of attraction, the universe works like that. So I continued the strategy. Fast forward, January, 2023. I was around 200,000 followers. I was posting around four, five videos a week until April, 2023. A friend told me your content is great. One thing you're missing, posting every day. I set a goal to post every day of April. At the end of the month, I made my record revenue. 6,000 francs only by posting every day. Since April 2023, I haven't missed a day of posting. People can't really imagine what can happen in a year of hard work. You can see it. From 266,000 followers on the 16th of May 2023 to 4.1 million followers. And by the way, as I'm doing this video, I'm already at 4.8. Now let's get back to the most valuable things I changed to be here where I am right now. April, 2023. I started posting every day at 250,000 followers. I started taking off my shirt. I was getting shredded and people were seeing the hard work and making the connection between jump rope and weight loss and health. Of course, more people would be attracted and the content would be more appealing. Imagine you see a person doing the skills I'm doing. You're going to think, cool skills. Maybe I should try it. And then imagine seeing a person without a t-shirt, shredded, with a six pack, then you're gonna be thinking, is that from Jump Rope? I gotta try it. It's all about putting the little pieces together to make a hit. September, 2023. I found a great way of filming with a dark background. The quality got super high and almost unbeatable. 
I started to get a lot of reach. There was only one missing piece to get the hit I was talking about. And it is, I started acting in front of the camera. By acting, I mean, I started being myself. I had fun, I was singing, I was dancing more than usual. I was making extremely positive and enjoyable content to watch by just being myself. So these are the most important aspects of a viral video. Emotional appeal, storytelling, uniqueness, relatability, production quality, controversy, timing, awesome hook, creativity, and humor. Yeah, you need to think about a lot of stuff actually. And then you get a hit. <sighs> to be able to come to this point of being yourself, it's necessary to go through the path of being somebody else. Gather all these missing pieces, all the editing and videography skills, creating and developing new ideas every single day, adapting to new trends and the constantly changing algorithm. You gotta deal with motivation and bad days and a lot more. It's not easy to be a content creator and still a lot of people underestimate. Let me help you with this. Sign in with the link in the description below and let's start creating.